Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Uh, I'm doing a quick video here to talk to men who are considering using uh, testosterone cream at a 200 milligrams per gram compounded, uh, either Versa base or HRT base as compared to injections. I get a lot of feedback, a lot of emails, a lot of questions from men asking me the differences. And so I wanted to do this video. I have talked about this previously, but I haven't done it just directly in a short, concise video so men can understand this. So as everyone who follows me knows, I used injectable testosterone for close to 17 and a half years, maybe even a little bit longer. And I switched over to the transcrotal 200 milligrams per gram uh, Versa-based cream about 15 or 16 months ago. I think it was July of 2018. And I've been using it ever since. I use, depending on whether I have the clicker um, tube or the rollout tube, I put it on uh, the base of my scrotum in the morning after I take a shower, freshly shaven. Remember the skin at the base of the scrotum is extremely permeable. And there's actually a study which I can link to and I have linked to in the past. It talks about um, the scrotum being eight times better absorption and viability or efficacy than anywhere else for the cream. Um, so guys ask all the time. The truth is, is that the cream and injections, if you're doing it correctly under the guidance and care of a physician who understands how to do this, are very, very similar. Um, you know, I believe my personal opinion that sexual function is enhanced with the cream, and that is, of course, because of the uh, DHT, the dihydrotestosterone spike that one receives, which is much more significant, um, placing it at the base of the scrotum than injections. Um, as far as muscle mass gain, energy, cognition, all the other great, amazing things with therapeutic uh, testosterone, once a man's levels are optimized and he's balanced out between estrogen and testosterone, um, not much of a difference. I mean, you definitely can see the same physiological effects that you see with injectable. So again, for me, I think that the cream is better for a couple of reasons. Obviously, one, it's less invasive. You don't have to be injecting your body, uh, you know, over the lifetime that you're going to be on testosterone optimization therapy. Um, so that's a great big plus. And then again, for sexual functioning, I, I, I just tend to and believe or know that it's just a little bit better uh, again, because of the increase in dihydrotestosterone from the um, cream at the base of the scrotum. How much more significant than it is, it is than injections? I don't really know. I don't think it's easy to quantify, even if somebody did a study, but uh, I love it. And, and, and quite honestly, you know, after 17 and a half years of injecting, it's a lot better that I don't have to inject myself anymore and I can just do it quick in the morning, um, you know, at the, again, at the base of my scrotum. You know, guys do ask me questions. What about wiping off? Is it possibly going to get off on your partner? Um, of course, that's always a possibility, but if you get this cream compounded from any compounding pharmacy, I mean, I can name anybody, you know, TaylorMade, Empower Wells, APS, there's many of them out there, uh, Quest, or uh, yeah, Quest in, in, uh, in Utah. There's just a million compounding pharmacies that can make this. Again, it's 200 milligram per gram, Versabase or HRT, and then there's a, another one, I think it's called Atrave Atravesis or something. There's another one that supposedly has better simulation or delivery because of the technology they use. I think they use a liposomal technology. They're all the same to me. You know, don't, don't believe the hype, so to speak, when they spin it that one may be better than the other. Again, what's more important is that you consistently apply it and you use it and you obviously help your doctor uh, determine the right dosage for you. Some men use it AM and PM. I have found, again, we're all N of one. In my best experience, I, can, I get away with just using it in the morning and I don't have to use it uh, at night. If I do want to go away for you know a long vacation weekend or an exotic trip or something like that, and I want to enhance my sexual function, I may take a second dose at night, you know, after I shower or whatever. But uh, very rarely do I do that. So it's usually a.m. in the morning. I think that's pretty much covering it all. Um, again, as far as physiological difference, differentiation between injections and the cream, I think it's very similar. You can still get the same amount of uh, muscle mass. Uh, energy, cognition enhancement, and all those other things that you get with injections. So again, the primary differentiators, in my opinion, are a little bit better sexual function, a little bit probably better erectile quality. And again, this is minor. Uh, and then of course, uh, and that's due to the DHT, the dihydrotestosterone um, spike. And then also, uh, it's less invasive. You don't have to inject yourself. So I just wanted to put that out there. I'll make sure I get this up there for my newsletter on Monday at 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, what are you missing? 
join.totrevolution.com. I appreciate you guys and send you guys great love and light.